Right, hello. It has been a while. I have brought you, I'm going to bring you a video today on, to make it up, to make it up to you guys, I am going to be doing a double, a double, th and normally would do this as two videos, but I'm going to do this as one. We have a PSA returns in here, and we have a card hobby order in here. So that's what we've, uh, we've got to look forward to. So I haven't actually opened this yet. I've just tried to uh, save a bit of time by taking the labels off and things like that. So this has some stuff for the PC and it also has, maybe not so much in this order, but definitely in the next one, we'll have some stuff, singles to go into a uh, flick, go into flick throughs at the London Card Show, which is coming up in a couple of months. Well, this is a good start, isn't it? Right, here we go. I think that's everything. Right, let's go for it all. So, package number one, we have a marvelous moment of Andreas Christensen. Um, didn't actually order this. It came with another card, which I did order, which is the Marvelous Moments Pedri. So I'm kind of collecting, obviously, as you know, I'm collecting Pedri and I still am collecting Pedri, but I'm really not trying to spend that much money on cards at the minute. Um, I don't know if I've officially announced, but I will no longer be going to the National. Um, the connecting flight ended up being about $500. And including my accommodation, it was costing me two and a half grand to get to Cleveland for uh, four days. So it was just a little bit expensive. I felt like I could go to the Dominican Republic for two weeks for that. And I just felt like it's probably a little bit early days in my kind of sports cards journey. I'm not going to go over there and start like, you know, buying tables and things like that. Like I... I'm a small time collector. I'm very much in a collector side of the hobby at the minute. The investor kind of side is maybe parked at the minute because I'm, I'm trying to buy a house. I'm not trying to go over to America and, and spend a load of money on sports cars and then it all go down the drain. So it's not really a business for me at the moment. It is very much a hobby and it's probably early days at the minute, I think, to be able to go to the national. I potentially will go to one another time where it's slightly easier to fly to and there's a lot more to do within the city. Um, but I just felt like Cleveland was, was just a pain in the ass. I was having to fly to Chicago. I was then getting a connecting flight, which was cost me 500 quid with my bag from Chicago to Cleveland. Um, yeah, it was just a nightmare in terms of traveling to get there. So, and I think a lot of people from the UK are like that. Cleveland has just been awkward as hell. I'll just get a few top loaders because I'm worried that stuff isn't going to be top loaded, which is slightly a shame that um, you get you're getting stuff on card hobby that isn't even sleeved, which is kind of uh, mental. But you know, I guess if it's cheap, um, I'm picking up some the odd Star Wars card. So this I thought this was quite a nice one. It's the uh, episodes one and I think it's episodes one episode one Sapphire came out fairly recently, uh, number to seventy five. And uh, yeah, it's obviously got Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan on there, two popular characters. Uh, another marvellous moment. This one is sleeved and top-loaded. So shout out to that other seller that didn't didn't top-load or sleeve his cards. Oh, blimey. Okay, so you can tell it's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm knocking cameras and all sorts. So yeah, marvellous moments. Pedri, can't remember why I ordered two. Uh, another Star Wars. Just picking up some, all oh, two Star Wars actually. So this is my favorite actor of all time. I should probably not tell you that I'm, I potentially might PC him. Um, but yeah, he's up there with my favorite actors of all time. Old Mads. Um, obviously he's been in Harry Potter. He's been in James Bond. He's been in uh, some huge, huge, uh, he's now been in Star Wars. If you think about the, some of the, um, like some of the big franchises this guy's been in. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant actor. 
would highly recommend um hunt is it hunted you'll know what film i'm talking about if you know what film i'm talking about uh mon mothma so this is uh she's from episodes five and six or four five and six i think it's five and six isn't it um so that's her auto slightly smudged but you know caroline blackiston just have some uh, star wars autos as well i think when i'm set up next to joe joe's gonna have a lot of star wars as well so i'm kind of trying to diversify a little bit in terms of um what i'm uh, offering people at the uh, the stand at the london card show now i've talked i talked to death about this guy before if you've seen my older videos you know i like organ orkan kochku um i know uh liverpool's new manager has said that his first signing he wants to be Orkan Kochku because he has uh or he, Kochku was a captain uh at Feyenoord. So uh, the managers played with him before that that he knows how good he is as a, uh, a centre midfielder. Um and there you go. Plays in that number 10 role. This is the optic in the Benfica shirt. Obviously, he moved for, I think it was 20 million. And uh, Benfica at the minute have got a price, uh, they've got a buyout clause of something like 127 million pounds, which is absolutely insane. But this guy's been playing for Turkey, so you may have seen him in uh, this year's Euros. And this card is uh, number to five. I do have his rookie card of 10. That was in a PSA uh, opening. So if you want to go back and have a look at that, see what I, I got in my... Uh, Tops Chrome 10 of 10. Um, was it a PSA 10? You'll have to find out. Uh, here we go. So we got a Tom Kenny one for the PC that I needed. Number two, 135. This is the Mojo. Obviously, there are there is going to be some Fulham in here. Uh, this was quite a cool one. I like picking up the, um, the older tops and the older uh, upper deck stuff. This is a Beckham to 50. Top's greatest goal in the Vodafone kit. So this is probably like 2003 season. 2002, 2003. Um, but it does say 2015 on the back. So yeah, greatest goal, 17th of August, 1996. Oh, okay. So 1996, that's from. Is that right? That can't be right. Opening day, 1967. David Beckham picks up the ball on the halfway line. Okay, so they're talking about greatest goal. Of the, they're talking about the Wimbledon goal, presumably. But then that's not the Wimbledon kit from memory. And he didn't have that hair, did he? Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, Beckham number to 50. Um, weirdly needed the base of the Brian Ruiz. Um, I do the Fulham 2020 set. I hadn't really been picking up Brian Ruiz, but then he is in. The, he is the auto in the 2020 set, so it makes sense. So I have the gold wave. I have the blue shimmer. Uh, shout out to Maxi. I think he sold me that. Um, I have the purple now, I think, to 49. So, yeah, doing fairly well. I don't actually have any. I think purple 49 is the only numbered one I have. The others are, are just short print. They're not actually numbered, which is weird, like Blue Shimmer not being numbered because there are cards. I won't get this out, but this is the Marvelous Moments uh, to 50 of Pedri. You've seen the base of that already. Actually, I'm going to save a bit of time. I'm not going to get some of these out. I'm just going to show you them because they are... I think there's only one card in here. Yeah, so non-numbered. This is the choice base of Michael Hector. Speed this up for you. Um, can't go wrong with a bit of Ronaldo in a flick through. So, obviously, you've got the prized footballers in the Sporting Lisbon kit. is a popular card. Uh, we've got a Rodri, which is number to 88 from Mosaic. And then these are really, really cool. The pink lasers from 2018 Russia. Um, number 240, Sergio Busquets. Probably one of the best holding midfielders of our generation, I'd say. Gareth Bale, uh, non-numbered gold, uh, 2016 Don Russ. We've got the Saka Peacock. That one will probably get graded in the England shirt that I'm wearing, actually, as well. Uh, now, this is going to be a, an interesting thing um gabri vega obviously was playing at celta vigo here um but he then moved to the saudi league which he says he's not happy at um i think tony cruz came out and said it was like the weirdest move for a wonder kid to go to the saudi league so young 
We haven't really seen Wonder Kids do that yet. We've seen older players go and sort of retire there, a bit like the players used to do with the MLS. But we haven't really seen younger players go over to Saudi. He, um, Vegas said it wasn't about the money. I think it was about the money, me personally. Um, but what I've decided to do is because his cars are so cheap and he's wanting to move, he's a very good uh, midfielder. I think United would be looking at him. Liverpool would be looking at him. I think both have shown interest in the past. Um, I'm not too up to date on transfer news. I don't think he's moved just yet, but I can kind of see a move coming this summer. Uh, I've been picking up a few of these select autos. So it's not his rookie. His rookie, he only has one rookie card, I believe, in a set, and it's the Mosaic. So I have the genesis of that already. I know a shout out El Toro has the Peacock. Um, but I've been going over these, going after these autos, and I've been picking up so many of them. So I've got the gold to 10. I've got the 10 to 10 gold. This is the Peacock. Um, and then there might be some more in this uh, in this opening as well. This is the Pedri Press Proof. This cost me about 14 cent. Um, so yeah, super, super cheap. But obviously the Press Proof is slightly shorter print. It says Press Proof on it. I've got kind of like a top loaded binder now of, uh, of Pedri. Uh, another uh, Star Wars Auto. She's in um, Clone Wars, I think. Then we have um, this Anthony Robinson Asia exclusive. I think this is Pink Stars, which I needed. Um, and then these two, which will just go and flick throughs for like a quid. Sebast whoops, Sebastian Holler, 50p now. Sebastian Holler, Holler and uh, the goalkeeper for Crystal Palace. Gator, Gator. I never know how to pronounce that. Oh, this is a nice one. This one I'm going to get graded. This is a, a Pedri Dragon to eight. This is probably the most I've spent on a Pedri card of recent. Um, wasn't super expensive, but it is a, a pretty nice card. These dragons from Optic are so, so nice. Um, oh, we have got a, a thing here. The red, which is not numbered, of Gabri Vega. The silver. As you can see, I did pick up quite a few. Um, Star Wars Galaxy, absolutely love this set. Star Wars Galaxy, you've got the X-Wing, I think this is. It is numbered. I think it's number to 75 or something. We can have a quick check, can't we? You're, you're not in any rush, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so this is X-Wing number to 99. It is number to 99. There we go. The tie-dye which I think is, is the tie-dye numbered? It is, it is numbered. 25, four or 25. And these are so cheap. These are costing me like $3 or something like that. So I was like, I might as well go for the rainbow, even though I don't have the one of one. But hopefully it turns out. Another Star Wars Galaxy, um, number 75. I've been picking up, and you'll see this in the, I won't reveal it, but I've been picking up loads and loads and loads and bulk buying Euro 2020 Select. I think it's like one of the nicest sets from um, recent sets that have come out. Obviously fully licensed. I don't think any team from memory wasn't licensed. Um, so yeah, I've, I've picked up a bunch of this, but these are like super cheap ones. So you've got... Harry Kane's blue number to 225 and then Sterling number to 165. I think for anyone that's like set collecting or or buying players that they like, like to get into numbered parallels of select that are just really, really nice looking cards. I think these always do pretty well at shows. Um, this one's a, a fairly cheap one. Uh, Roy Keane lost Ricky's number to 99 may go after that set and then another a really really cheap uh star wars auto and then finally an mbappe which is a uh bgs 8.5 i'm going to try and crack this out clean it up and hopefully get a psa 9 um this is numbered to let's have a look 99 so not like a super high-end card but i think this this really i mean in terms of the amount i paid for this um it's, it's it's yeah it's worth a punt just for a laugh like i paid next to nothing for this so yeah really really nice card it's the um 
the the pink prism from Euro 2020. And um, yeah, that will get cracked out and hopefully cleaned up and then sent to PSA. Right, there we are. That's a nice little uh, mail day. Nothing like, you can see the stuff I'm picking up is really like not, not, not that expensive. And at the last London card show, I think what did really well for me was just the cheaper stuff. Like just selling more of the cheaper stuff. Not trying to sell like loads and loads of high-end bulk, like high-end slabs and things like that. Because I think I don't have that many anyway. And I don't think people necessarily come to my table and expect that from me. Um, they expect to see some 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 cheaper stuff, I think. So that's what um uh, that's what I'm going with. Right, now we had some bad news with this um with this order. As one of the cards unfortunately was not graded because and i bought it on ebay so it's slightly disappointing it wasn't great and i'm glad i didn't buy more from the seller just in case but it wasn't graded because the card was not the right size um which suggests that the card either probably hasn't been printed properly which i don't think would be the case um or has been trimmed and i think it's the uh, i think the card potentially has been trimmed because PSA didn't seem to think that it was actually the right size. Um, and then they don't grade cards that aren't the exact size because they think they have been trimmed. I don't know who's trimming modern day football cards that aren't like majorly expensive. So I kind of find it hard to believe that it wasn't trimmed, but or I find it hard to believe that it was trimmed. But yeah, PSA just will not grade anything that's not the right size. Um, but here we go. Shout out, Jim, as always. We've got some cards for the PC. It's not a major, um, not a major, major PSA grading. There's, uh, there's only a, a handful of cards in here. But I thought combined with the, uh, the card hobby order, it was pretty cool. Right. So you can see the card at the top there. It was the, uh, if you saw my video at CardCon, you would have seen some of these cards that I'm sending off. Um, shout out Jim as always but yeah Beam Team Messi goal to 50 case hit um, do not hold a mini size zero it doesn't look trimmed at all to me but yeah oh well right first up Balak we got a PSA 9 a mint 9 I was hoping for a 10 on this this one did look really really crispy um so i'm slightly disappointed that that did get a didn't get a, a 10 and got a nine um i probably still do i probably still will do okay on it i'll have to check comps but yeah super super nice auto obviously an amazing player for chelsea uh amazing player for germany yeah um there we are michael bannock now next up is a card for the pc PSA 8 I'm delighted with. I actually thought, and you can see there's a big corner issue here. This is an old card, 2004 SP Authentic. PSA 8 I'm actually really, really happy with. I was kind of expecting sixes from these because um, just issues with like soft corners and whitening and just being sort of upper deck uh, older cards. Yeah, I was genuinely, genuinely really, really happy with this. PSA 8. And we have another one that also got an eight. So two eights, really, really happy with those. Um, kind of did expect sevens or sixes. So that's perfect. I'm, I'm actually really glad I, gl I graded these as well because I did just want to grade these for symmetry because I like everything to be graded. Um, but what I, was, I wasn't I was worried about, but I kind of just thought, oh, they're not going to look that great as sixes and things like that. But then I would rather see them in slabs than not in slabs, if you know what I mean. Like it protects them and it just goes with all the, the other sort of collectibles that I have. So to have two eights um, is is pretty cool. Um, one seems to be blue pen. The other seems to be black pen. I think the um, the pen might have run out and then they've switched pens <laughs> on the signing. But two PSA eights, delighted with those. Can't go wrong. And then I think there's another. Yeah, there is a final keen card. And it also got a PSA eight. So there you go. Um, we got the 2003 Man United Roy Keane manuscripts, manuscripts in red, uh, number 239, all got a PSA 8, which, I mean, it's 2003 upper deck. You, you've got to be pretty happy with that. 
the 2002 i know what's the 2000 the 2004 that i think i have or it might be another 2003 actually psa 10 is only pop one so they're very very low pop in tens um but i'm not really trying to kind of chase I'd, I'd rather the card than like an extreme grade if an opportunity comes up and i get like a psa 10 come up of this card at a reasonable price um potentially i might buy it but at this point like I tend to just go over the go after the card, not the grade. So there's no reason for me to try and pick up another one of these. I know a lot of people just would rather kind of they want the highest grade possible. But now I own the card. I think that's the most important thing to me. Um, so yeah, 2003 upper deck Roy Keane, and then finally, oh, this is disappointing. A PSA eight for the Evra. I thought this looked really, really, really good um that's actually really disappointing because i genuinely thought that had a possibility of tenning um but there you go lots and lots of psa 8s so we got th uh three four psa 8s which actually sounds bad but i'm really happy with these as psa 8s and then a psa 9 and then a, a massive mail day and then a non-graded card. So there we are. I hope you have enjoyed this. Today is actually Saturday. I'm about to head off to uh, London to go to Kaboom to go to their trade night. So I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, you know what to do. If you've enjoyed this video, smash a like on the video to show me that you're enjoying it uh, and that you've liked it. And uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 199 to be a member. Links in the description. And I'll see you on the next Sports Cards UK video. Thanks very much. Thank you.